You keeping an eye on the watch, Private? 300 seconds, and not a second to spare. And don't forget, never look directly into the sun. Seconds left. Damn it. Looks like my measuring equipment is broken. No, I'm afraid. I'm afraid it's working perfectly fine. 240 seconds left. We just received news from Antarctica, Machu Picchu, and Eastern Oceania. Their measurements match ours. We're expecting a solar flare similar to the Oswald flare from 2113 within the next two weeks. We all know that the terrestrial magnetic field can't protect us from a flare of the scale anymore. Our time is up. It's not too late yet, Quaddy. We still have a chance. Well, yeah, what about the Phoenix plan? We could escape. The Phoenix plan is not an evacuation plan, Hardy. Quite the opposite. No. Salvador is right. A manipulation is our last chance. What are they talking about? Is the security of our pilots provided for by now? Nigel, we are looking at certain death for every living thing in two weeks. We don't have a choice, I'm afraid. It's time we dare to take the final step. Step back to the past. Of spare parts. <sighs> it never ends, does it? Okay then, let's see what's wrong with this thing. Aha! So that's the problem, the belt tour. But where can I get a new one? Maybe it can still be fixed. Oh well, it's worth a try. Not sure that will hold. That's it. The belt tore again. There's no help for it. I need to replace it. Good riddance. It's stuck. That would explain the torn belt. Meta used to sit under that tree in the summer and read a book. It's a pity I have to chop it down. It will be a cold winter. He feeds on the parasites in the wood, just not quickly enough.
Well, it's locked. The plan was to leave everything behind. That day, I was so drunk, I don't even remember where I hid the key. Our summer vacation to Italy. Meta beamed, like always, and all I had on my mind was probably how to save the world. I wonder if we could have been happy if I had focused on our relationship instead of on our planet's future. <sighs> My team on the Atlas 11. <laughs> we really thought the future of the world was resting on our shoulders. That looks suspiciously like. Well, well, look what I found. I don't even remember hiding it here. Was I really that drunk? How long haven't I been down here? Okay, let's take a look. Hey, there was a screwdriver in there. I better take it. How many summer nights did I spend down here, staring at the algae cells? <laughs> did I really believe I could change the world? Not without proper tools. Let's see. Hello? Crap. Yes. Vince Benson? Yes, that would be me. Wait, I'm coming. Maybe you could tell me what you were doing sneaking around this place. You gave me quite a fright. I didn't intend to. Are you Ben Svensson? Yes, I am, but... What do you need? I need your help. You've come to the wrong place, then. I am retired. But it's very, very important. Much is on the line. Well, all right. But let me finish my work first. I hate to leave a job undone. Do I know you? I know your work. That is the reason why I need to talk to you. Nothing can be important enough not to get an appointment first. Is that your helicopter out there? It belongs to a friend, I think. Nice outfit. Are you military? No, I am from a different organization. Please, wait a second. I am busy right now. But... The sooner you let me finish my work, the sooner I will have time for you. morning, violent protesters stormed the European headquarters of the International Energy Inspection Agency. They protested the planned renewal of licenses for a total of seven power plants operated by the controversial energy corporation Indes Industries. During the protests, some militant participants even managed to take hostages. A spokesman of the agency. We were open to peaceful dialogue right from the beginning, but the current situation forces us to take drastic measures. The activists must understand that they can't force political decision-making with their illegal and extremist actions. 
If their actions have any impact on the decision at all, it will be a negative one. Meanwhile, the first injured are taken away and the police are preparing for a long night. It will probably be one of the longest nights in an otherwise peaceful... And the world keeps turning without me. It's completely rusted. Okay, that should work. It's useless. Away with it! Cripes. Too long. It fits. Right. That should do the trick. Ah, damn it. Someone has to hold the shutter to keep the stupid screwdriver from popping out again. I could use your help. Is that really important? I don't have much time. If you really want my help... Okay, okay, fine. What do you want me to do? Just come up here. There we are. What's this machine for? The fogger keeps the wood fresh until winter. I need you over here. You must push down this shutter while I operate the switch over there. Do you think you can do that? Of course. I'm ready. Well then. Hey! What? Stop! Stop! Stop this! Calm down, please. It's working as intended. What are you doing? Are you mad? Turn off the machine right now! Oh, well... These things happen. But there's no alternative if you want to get rid of the vermin. And I need the wood for heating. You are so stupid. Oh, great. I've got a visit from Miss Hypersensitivity. <laughs> 